Okay guys, it's happening. We knew this day was gonna come. Just going in the fridge because this book too steamy. Well, hello, people of the internet. My name is Kevin. Welcome back to another reading vlog. So today's reading vlog, we are in Portugal in Albufeira in Portugal. That is where Albufeira is, Kevin. Wow. I'm doing another reading vlog because last year when I went on holiday, you guys really liked my To All The Boys I Loved Before reading vlog. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it again. And this time we're doing a book that's very anticipated and one I've been dying to read and I'm finally starting it. And that is Red, White, and Royal Blue, AKA the book that's gonna make me feel even more single about myself. So I'm very excited to start this book. I've heard nothing but good things. Hopefully I'm going to love it just as much as everyone else is, but we shall see because sometimes I have the unpopular opinion, but I don't think for this book I will because I feel like I'm going to love it. So fingers are crossed, let's hope guys. And you know what? I don't mind feeling single because that means the book's working, so it's okay. Also I am here with, oh wait, it's too dark. So I am here with Amelia from Emily's Existence. She's doing a reading vlog, guys. I, I love doing a reading vlog. Yeah. My, Kevin's making me, not making me, Kevin told me I have to read after. So I'm reading I'm currently like up oh, nearly 100 pages in. And I haven't updated anyone on it, so I can't even do that because... See, she's doing a reading vlog. It's my first and last ever reading vlog, so I don't expect it to be on a booktube channel. We can already even be a channel, so no reading vlog. Not, well, a reading vlog, but no book stuff. Like, she's not a booktuber. No. Okay, so, oh, shadows, ew. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little broom tour because why not? Because our apartment is freaking huge for just us two, so. Yeah. We're kind of thriving though, like, I feel kind of bougie, so it's great. This is the door. They're really helpful. They're how you get into a room. Yeah. Would recommend you have a door. So you walk in, this is what you see first. Then you go this direction, into here, and we've got our little kitchen area. We have dishes, because we are on holidays, we ain't washing them right now, so. Well, actually, they are all, all washed, so I don't know why I'm saying I'm not washing them, because literally every single one of those are washed, so. I just lied. And this is all of our stuff. There's a fridge. Yeah, it's a kitchen. And you go this way, there's a little table with stuff on it. We've got some donuts and a bag. Yeah, we've got an Emily. We've got a TV and a couch, <laughs> um, allegedly. We've got a balcony. The balcony also extends into the other room. We go back this way. Hope you're enjoying this. This is absolutely amazing. Go in here, bedrooms are messy. Don't judge us. There's also a little TV here. This is also where still where the balcony is. As I said, it extended. We go back this way, there's also a wardrobe there. There's also a mirror with me. Hi. I'm still holding the book also. Come back out here. That's the door into the kitchen part. This is the little wardrobe thing with like extra towels. The bathroom, shower. Actually, she's not that messy. This could be a lot messier, but still. Toilet, booty cleaner, me again, still holding the book. Also me again, up close and personal. We don't need that. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for right now. We're gonna head down to the pool and tan and read, and we're gonna start Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm excited. Okay guys, so we have come down to the pool and we are now tanning. Well, actually, that's a lie. I'm underneath an umbrella because I wanna wait till I tan because I only like to tan for like 30 minute intervals and like twice maybe in a day because I do not like to burn. And yes, I also don't like being hot, so that's an issue. Going to be starting Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm very excited. I hope I'm going to love this. Also, I just realized I probably should be covering up some skin, you know? I want to keep that monetization. Sorry, guys, for being so x-rayed here. Oh, and she's falling down. The vlog's just like freezing up, which, you know, we kind of stand. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, we are now back up in the hotel room. We have been tanning for a while and then we decided to come up and have like a little bit of a rest, have a shower and stuff before we go out for dinner. But I just wanted to update you guys because obviously you knew I was reading Red, White and Royal Blue down there. And we just want to update and tell you where I am. Currently, I am on page. 
109. I read quite a lot of it because I am obsessed with this book and it just makes me so happy. It makes me so single, but we were all expecting that anyway, so it's okay. I just love it. Like, I literally love it so much. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna keep reading more of that tomorrow and probably maybe some tonight, but I don't know what time we're gonna get back from dinner and stuff like that. Yeah, we're gonna go have a shower and stuff and go for dinner. We're gonna get some Instagram pictures and it's gonna be cute. I also think I might have some noodles. You know, just have like my appetizer like really early, you know? We stand that. Like, that's a great idea. I think, yeah, I really like that idea. What's in your teapot? It's just what? Stupid. Show them what's in your teapot. You legit have noodles because there's no bowls in this place. There isn't any bowls in Hattie's teapot. So, you know, improvise. This is basically what everyone does in college, so. But think about having a teapot with your noodles, you can drink the noodle juice. Like this. Look at him, queen, yes. Live your best life. <laughs> okay, everyone, so we are out down at the beach and stuff, down here in the old town. Yes, I sing Old Town Road every single time I yeah, say it, we're going to Old Town. it's in our head because it's holiday. Kevin's like, I'm going to a four horse. I'm like, Old I Town can't Road. And then every time I, I sing it, I think of Chloe doing it at BookCon and doing the, her little whip. <laughs> oh, she looked so funny and cute in that. I know. Like, um, But anyways, we just took some Instagram pictures, so I'll put them up if we posted them. We probably should have by the time this vlog yeah. is up. And now we're going to get dinner. Mm hmm because the bitch is hungry. Oh, that lighting got better. It's not as intense anymore. But I'm very hungry. Thumbnail. It is the next morning, and that means we're gonna go sunbathe more and I'm gonna read some more. I'm very excited. Also, I need to give a little update about my reading. I haven't actually read any more pages, but I did download the audiobook and I am listening to the audiobook now. And honestly, it's because like I'm on holiday, right? It's sunny, it's you know, there's a pool, I wanna swim. There's like just sunshine, I wanna get my tan. And like reading the book physically at times, like it causes a shadow. The shadow goes on my chest. That means the chest region of my body is not getting a tan and she's gonna have a weird tan line in the shape of a book. So, my conclusion was, get the audiobook, I can pop my headphones on, I can put the book down and tan my chest fully and I'm still reading at the same time because I'm listening to it. So, life hack. I also got some of my shades. I honestly love these sunglasses so much, like. We love these. I'm gonna go down now and actually do some reading and tan because Emily's already down there, so she's kind of lonely. So I'm gonna go join her, read. And she's also still reading Aquatar. She's reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. Guys, that makes me so happy. And she's honestly reading it so fast. And I'm just like, I'm so happy. Okay guys, so I need to be quick right now because I'm gonna get copyrighted with the music that's playing in the background, but this book is getting very, very fucking steamy and I can't cope. I'm fine. Okay guys, so obviously we're back up from reading now and we have left for dinner and stuff, but currently we're at Crazy Gull. I think you can't see my club, but yes. And this is the I only am. stick I'm playing with on this holiday. So I'm taking advantage of every moment and I'm gonna enjoy myself. Currently I'm already winning and we're only on the third hole, so. I'm bad at this, <laughs> really bad. it is the next day and we are about to head down to the pool to do some more reading again get some more tanning in again I actually have been getting a bit of a tan so kind of love that for me um, but obviously I want to get more of a tan so we're going to try to do that but anyways I am currently on page 150 I think yeah no 165 is what I'm on in this and she's getting steamy you have already seen earlier that I said it was getting steamy and I was like 
But yeah, I'm going to try to finish this today. I'm going to read some more of the pool and I'll probably read a bit more when we come back up before we go for dinner and stuff like that because I want to try to finish this today. So that's my main goal. We're going to do it. I have faith in us. I don't know if you guys have faith in me because you all know how I am when it comes to reading. But I hope you're thinking, Kevin, you're going to finish it because that's the mind spirit we're going in with today. Okay, so I could not do the music here because I would get copyright, but this is me being a ballerina, showing my pointy toe, and then, you know, just, yeah, doing that in the pool. Don't know what even move that is. And then, yeah, you know, going around in circles, like, living my best life, powering it up. Woo, go me, love that. Okay, everyone, we're back up from the pool, and we're, well, I'm reading now again. Emily's just chilling I, there, yeah. like a villain. She can't even see her because the lighting just changed. Mm -hmm. I finished. Love that. I finished that guitar. She did. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to continue reading some of Red, White, and Royal Blue. <laughs> okay, guys, it's happening. We knew this day was going to come. Just going in the fridge because this book is too steamy. And the sex scenes in here, I'm sorry, there could be a spoiler, but she's steamy. She's getting a bit too hot. She needs to cool down. She's going right in the fridge where she belongs. Now, you cool yourself down because my body cannot take this. And I am flustered right now. You cool down there. And once you're cooled down, I will continue reading. A few moments later. Okay, I think I should take it out of the fridge. Okay, so, basically, it's getting sad now and I'm not okay with this. I'm on page 266. I didn't sign up for this. Like, I'm in a sunny place right now. I wanted a lovely, cute romance. Why is she getting sad? I don't remember ever agreeing to that part. It was not in the contract when I decided to pick up this book. So, hmm, I need to put it back in the fridge again because now I'm scared. <sighs> I just want to rewind, like, 50 pages ago when everything was so happy. I was thriving, like it was a great time, but now like I'm really sad to keep reading. <sighs> I guess we just gotta continue anyways. And as you can see, I am now back home. I did end up finishing Red, White and Royal Blue the day after the last clip you seen and I read it really quickly because we were checking out to go home and stuff like that. So I didn't really vlog anything. I don't know why I probably should have, but I didn't. I finished Red, White and Royal Blue and I absolutely loved this book so, so much. Like, <sighs> It's definitely gonna be one of my favorite books of the year. Like definitely, like it has a new special place in my heart. Henry and Alex's relationship is just so adorable and I just wish I had it. Like, it just makes me feel even more single. But you know, someday I will find my prince. I hope. Yeah, I did really enjoy this. I think I'm gonna give it a five out of five stars or a 4.5. I haven't decided yet which my rating is because there is one section in here that I think was resolved too quickly and too easily. I don't want to get into it too much because I don't want to spoil it because this is a non-spoiler vlog. So issues were resolved far too quickly for my liking. I would have wished that it played out a little bit longer maybe. I don't really know, but yeah. I'm deciding if it's before my five or five stars. I just can't choose right now. I also actually started a new book when I was in the airport in Portugal and on my flight home. And that is Somewhere Only We Know by Maureen Gu. You can't actually see the dust jacket because I don't have it on it right now, but Yes, I am actually on page 77 of this one already, so I'm quite far in, like, straight away, and I only spent, like, a couple of hours reading it, so, yes, we shall see where I end up with that. I am currently enjoying it, but I'm not going to do a reading vlog for this one, because I'm going to be doing daily vlogs for the reading rush, which is next week, so 
You guys are gonna be getting a lot of reading vlogs as it is, so we don't need to do another one for this one, so. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and this reading vlog in Portugal with me and Emily. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. Other than that, I shall see you all next time in my next video. So goodbye, guys. Yay!